Hello everyone, today we're going to be making some woven Valentine's heart baskets. So you can see that if I pick this up and I open it up, it actually makes a little basket that you could put things in or you could put a loop on the top to make it into an ornament. We're going to be doing this pattern today, which is significantly easier than this pattern. But if you need to adapt it, you can always do that. You could cut larger pieces and have fewer weaves, or you could cut smaller pieces like I did here and have more. I've used some traditional Valentine's colors just because I thought it was appropriate. You can get two hearts this size out of two pieces of construction paper. So if you would like to learn how to do it, just stay tuned and we will get started. For this activity, you'll need two colors of construction paper, the heart template, and a pair of scissors. There are a few ways you can do this. I'm going to show you a way that's slightly trickier, but if you're having trouble with it, you can always try the other method. The technique I'm going to show you today actually makes a basket. Because you're weaving the two strips of paper in between each other, it can be a little bit tricky to do. If you're having trouble with it, you can always cut along this fold and then just use a single piece of paper and glue down the edges to make a heart. I have two pieces of construction paper, red and pink, pretty standard Valentine's colors, and I have my template here. What I'm going to do, because I'm making sort of a basket shape in the end, is I'm going to line up my template along the fold, the bottom of my construction paper, and cut it out so I get two pieces that are double-sided. The next thing I need to do is I need to cut along these dotted lines. That's what's going to give me the pieces to weave into the heart. If it's tricky, you can try making fewer lines and having them be bigger pieces. If you want something a little trickier, you can make them smaller and have more lines. I would recommend starting with this first. The more pieces you have, the trickier it becomes, and it can be pretty tricky to get everything in here. Let's cut off our strips and then we can get started with the weaving. I have my two pieces here, they're all cut out and ready to go. The next part is going to be the weaving, which can be pretty tricky. What you want to do is you want to take your two pieces, so this is still folded together, and you are going to weave a strip either through the loop of the previous strip or into the loop of the next one. So we're going to keep going with this and we'll see how it looks in the end. Here we have our heart basket. If you take a look, you can see that you could put something in there. You could put a little loop on the top and make it into a basket or a hanging ornament. But there we go. I will tell you that this pattern was significantly easier than a pattern like this, which I think looks really cool, but was very, very, very difficult to actually weave together. So I hope that I can see yours. You can choose whatever colors you like, and we'll see you again soon.